So is Barnes & Noble going to continue supporting the Nook or aren't they? Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, on Nook, Netflix, MoviePath, Lyft, Google, Google, Facebook, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Apple Amazon, Amazon, Airbnb, The Apptrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and welcome to a special Saturday video. At least I assumed this video was going to go up on Saturday because there's just a lot of stories to cover and I really wanted to tackle this one, but uh, I don't like doing more than two videos a day. So I, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to put this on Saturday. So if you're here spending time with me on your day off when you could easily be playing Xbox or watching the sports or playing uh, Blizzard games. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Boycott Blizzard. Check out the video on my vlog channel if you want to find out why. But hey, thank you for taking some time to join me on this Saturday. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Uh, consider subscribing below and clicking the bell icon if you like uh, these videos because I talk about Uber, Lyft, the gig economy, the streaming wars, and yes, I talk about ebooks as well. So, you know, welcome aboard. I hope you will enjoy this video and future videos like it. But let's talk a little bit about Barnes & Noble because I am a huge fan of Barnes & Noble. I'm I'm a huge fan of bookstores in general. I, I buy a lot of books. Now, you may recall looking at my vlog channel, I made a hard decision fairly recently that I needed to with few exceptions, cut back on paper books. Uh, physical books is something that I really can't be buying much of anymore. I have made a few exceptions. Com comic books, theories that I like reading, and manga will still be bought because they tend to go out of print, therefore they become valuable. And favorite authors like Stephen King, J.K. Rowling, and the classic literature books, those would still be worth having hard copies. But when it comes to, like, the Super Pumped book, which which is about Travis Kalanick, or Bob Iger's memoirs, or Hillary Clinton's memoirs, or The Art of Making the Deal by Donald Trump. These are books that, hey, you know what, I might read them, I might find them interesting. I typically only read them once. I, I think I came to that realization was I was looking at I was looking at a pile of books in the closet, just taking up a lot of space. And I was looking over the books and it's like, you know, I liked Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. I'm prob I have not read it a second time, and I there's a chance I will never read it again. So, And the thing about books, unlike physical media, is that they go out of value. Like, books almost never go up in value, unless they're signed, which I still collect a lot of signed books. Hence, that's why I have the Autograph Hound channel. Subscribe to that as well, if you want. So, I pretty much now just buy digital now, and I have three digital options. I have Kindle, Nook, and Kobo. And my number one choice for book reading is The Nook. I like The Nook way more than I like the other ones. I like the Kobo, and I don't buy Kindle unless I act absolutely have to or unless it's like a gift. So that's what I do with my reading. But when Barnes & Noble got bought out by a UK bookseller named James Daunt, the question started arising, can he save Barnes & Noble? And I like what he's doing so far. He's going to be changing the bookstores so that they're more personalized to the area. I like that. Uh, he really did not um, close any stores. So far, he has, I think with the exception of five stores, there aren't going to be any more store closures. He's going to beef up the online presence a little bit more. By the way, I like how he's sitting in front of Persopolis and The Help. Both very good books. But people started noticing that there was a fire sale for the Nook and the Accessories. And this was after the new Nook Glow Light um, device, which, full disclosure, I have not bought that yet, but I will buy it for Black on Black Friday because there's going to be a sale. I know there is. Well, the questions now arise. Was Barnes & Noble going to discontinue the Nook? Did the Nook have a future under the, the new ownership? Because... The devices have never made money. That's kind of true with most devices. Like, when you buy the iPod, um, although actually I think Apple made money off of this, so it's it's probably not, probably a bad example. No, let, let, let's get a better example. Let's, uh, this is just, this is just as bad of an example because this thing didn't make money at all, but uh, let's say you buy the Vita, the PlayStation Vita. This thing is sold at a loss. So's the Xbox, so's most of the phones. 
with the idea being that you would make money from the software. Sony is not making money from the hardware. They're making money from the software, which, uh, no, that's an SD. That's an SD car card. That totally, totally messed up the, the visual cue. They, they make money from the software. I, what game is this? Exit Archive. I keep trying to finish that game, but I, I don't know. I, I keep struggling to. And therefore, like, when Amazon sells a Kindle, they make their money off the ebook purchases. So, sell, so, do, so does Barnes & Noble. Um, so, the Nook is kind of an interesting position. Like, the last model sold great, but it lost a lot of money. Well, here's the thing. We have an answer. Barnes & Noble will continue to support the Nook e-reader. A new CEO of Barnes & Noble, James Daunt, has stated that the bookseller will continue to support the Nook e-reader. He made it clear his initial focus will be on improving Barnes & Noble's physical stores. Quote, if you improve the stores, everything else will rise, he said. He told Good e-reader that there are no plans to discontinue the Nook line as long as devices keep pace with the Kindle. This is good news that we can expect new Nook models every year or two for the foreseeable future. I would expect a year to go by without there being a new model, though. But it might be hard to gauge how many units they sell. In the last financial quarterly results before the bookseller went private, Nook sales fell 17.1% and the platform generated $92.1 million in e-reader sales, accessories, and e-book sales. Although due to expenses and division, sorry, although due to expenses, the division lost $6.4 million, whereas during the same period last year, they lost $8.5 million. So the losses are, that's kind of one of the themes that you've been seeing with Barnes & Noble. Like, they've been losing money for several years, but in the last few years, their losses were shrinking, which suggested they were finally turning around to become profitable. Uh, that might be one of the reasons that the UK bookseller decided to buy them. Uh, the turnaround for the Nook is looking good. All of the old people in charge of the division the past few years have all retired or have been fired. The current leadership team comprises of William Wood, was promoted to the chief digital officer role internally. The bookstore then hired Carlo uh, Panchitesta, I believe that's how you pronounce it, as chief information officer in the summer. The unveiling of the new Nook 7.8-inch reader caught everyone off guard. It was suddenly released with no early warning or media getting their hands on it early. This was primarily due to Mary Ellen Keating, who had been with the company for almost a decade. She was easily the worst PR manager ever, and her last day was in early September. It looks like Barnes & Noble has outsourced their PR to an external company, and there is no current executives in charge of branding or public relations. Maybe they'll have someone internally to oversee the entire division, but I have not heard of any search. Barnes & Noble is currently selling two e-readers for the first time ever. They have the Nook Low Light Plus 7.8 and the Nook Low Light 3, which has a 6-inch screen and is a bit long in the tooth. At the very least, it is comforting that BNN will continue to outsource Nook development to Netronics, and they will continue to support them for years to come. Yes, so very good. Like, I'm going to buy two models. I have like a 10-inch model that's kind of like a tablet, really. I'm going to buy that for graphic novels primarily, and then I'm going to get um, this e this um, Glow Light for the regular books. So it's just nice to know that the Nook will continue to stick around for a little bit longer. I am cautiously optimistic. Uh, by the way, this is a good e-reader. This is where you want to go if you want um, ebook news. I am very cautiously optimistic that Barnes & Noble will um, be turned around. I, I hope these new owners can figure out what's going on with the company and that they can turn it around successfully. Who knows? Uh, in the meantime... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, I will continue to buy from them. And by the way, as long as they continue to have their Criterion Collection sale, I will definitely go there whenever that's going on. Which, you know, the Criterion Collections are such a huge markup that even if they charge 50% off, they're still making a few bucks on them. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it. What do you folks think? Are any of you Nook fans out there? Do you read books on an e-reader? Or do you expect the Nook will eventually one day just become like another app on the phone? Like, you know, that's kind of where I thought this was going to go, but looks like they're going to still make the devices. But I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to help the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check Check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, check me out Kim T. Rodriguez, the Autograph Hound, and the Entrepreneur Vlogs. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow Nook or ebook readers out there, check us out at the Entrepreneur Hangout on Facebook. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.